I um, am starting another bedroll. Um, my brother and another Maine farmer are sending me bags and bags of wool. They have four full fleeces from four sheep, and remember the sheep don't get hurt, they just get their hair cut, um, that they are sending me, and I have been planning a bedroll that I was going to try and do on the boy looms. But I'm going back and using my weaving pattern because if I make it with all hand spun, when you knit in the round with hand spun yarn, your finished item is going to twist just a little bit. I've had it run into, um, I've run into that on a couple of Christmas stockings where you kind of get a little bit of a twist in the yarn unless you ply it and then it's less noticeable. Um, I use singles for the most part, so if I'm, I'm, depending on how big the fleeces are, I think it's going to be about 24 pounds of wool. So now it's kind of a full stop thing because I have to wash, drum card, spin, I have to process 24 pounds of wool. But if the end result may be a brand new complete bedroll project, so I'm doing that. Decided to use my uh, backstrap weaving loom. Um, simply because you get more bang for the buck as far as weaving is the most economical way to use yarn. Um, and also, I have the pattern already written, and I know the sizes I need and everything. So this is my backstrap loom that I warped yesterday afternoon outside. Today we're supposed to have thunderstorms, um, so I wanted to get it done last night. I did. And in the... Um, corresponding video for the backstrap bed roll weaving pattern. Um, in the, the example I'm doing in that video, when I warped this outside, I go um, from the front beam through the heddle with a double strand through each hole to the back beam, back again through the next hole with two strands. And I just want to show you that there's, you don't have to always use two strands. I have done the same thing this time, except I've gone through only each slot. So each slot of my heddle has two strands in it. And you can see I'm at the point where I have um, cut the front beam um, warp, loosely tied it off on my front beam, that's my back strap. Um, normally I'd be standing in there. And now what I'm going to do, I've got it tied off. I have two strands in each slot. So now I'm going to stand here and I'm going to move one strand to the hole. And I'm gonna work all the way across the heddle just by pulling um, one of these two strands to the, through the hole that's next to the slot. So you don't always have to use double the amount of warp. You can use the method I show in that video, which is, an, uh, uh, this took me an hour, about an hour. Um, it's a 36 inch loom, and it took me about an hour to warp it outside, and that was mainly because I had to make way for a rabbit, turkeys, eight turkey babies, um, two turkey mothers, um, no cats, there wasn't a cat out there, there was something else out there, and then the rabbit came back again, so, um, and then the dog had to go out, so I had many interruptions, and it still only took about an hour to get to this point, which is not bad. So now I'm inside, and that's the other thing I want to mention in this video. I have a plant hook up there, and that is where my back beam is hanging. In the first video on the backstrap um, bedroll project, I'm using an outdoor plant hook. Well, I have one indoors too. And I have this tied to a bureau. Whoops. That's kind of upside down, but it's tied to a bureau. So, sorry about that. So my point is, that if you can't build a warping frame for outside, or if like today, it's here, it's gonna rain all day, 
um, and yet you still want to weave something, you can um, find a way to attach your back beam to either a hook. If I had a longer string on that, it would be much lower. And I can just hang the back beam, and I could attach this, this back beam right to the bureau and do it that way. I could warp the whole thing indoors. The other thing you can do if you're um, a sewing machine person like me, you can take the two treadles, put the back beam um, connected to the irons of the treadle, just like with Velcro or some Velcro straps, just tie the beam to the treadle legs, horizontal, just like this beam is, and I have another treadle, and the other treadle would hold the other beam. And so you set your treadles six feet apart and set up your backstrap um, beams, and you can warp a backstrap loom in your house just by using your treadles. So you can use your imagination. Um, I also have a shopping cart I kind of brought home, and they're great because they're heavy. Um, I could have that parked right here and have this um, front beam attached to it and put bricks in front of the wheel so it doesn't move. So there's a lot of different ways to set up a front beam and a back beam in your house and warp uh, a loom this way. But I just wanted to point out that you don't always have to use double the warp. You can just, um, if you follow the directions in the first video, put the warp through every slot and then when you get to this point is when you fully thread the heddle by pulling one um, warp thread through the holes.